time for another edition of a feature on our show called You Can't Say That or Do That or Think That. Oh, wait, this is America. And today we're going to talk about the W word. You know the word. Wait, am I allowed to say it? Okay, cover your ears if you're offended by strong language. Ready? Woke. (laughs) Yes, you see, the left has set its sights on a new target in the word policing arena. It's not that woke is under fire for being a set of beliefs that are worthy of attacking. No, now the word itself is apparently problematic. Remember Emily Jasinski was telling us about this? This really started, as most things do, on Twitter. Most bad things, that is. After Virginia's results last Tuesday, Democrat James Carville went off on the progressive left for contributing to the massive losses in the state. You'd think they'd listen to him. He knows a thing or two about how to win. And he pointed to the problem of wokeness. It was the basis for a question CNN asked Democratic Senator Mark Warner over the weekend. Watch Carville and then the question after. I want you to listen to what Democratic strategist James Carville had to say about what he thinks went wrong for Democrats. What went wrong was just stupid wokeness. I mean, just defund the police, lunacy to take Abraham Lincoln's name off of schools. I mean, that people see that. And it, 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 it's, it's just really a, have a suppressive effect all across the country. The Democrats, some of these people need to go to a woke detox center or something. <laughs> Are Democrats amazing. too woke, Senator? Are they too woke? Well, Barack Obama has called out the Democratic Party for this. James Carville has called out the Democratic Party for this. They know something about how to win an election, but some don't care. Like Representative AOC. She didn't like Carville using the term woke in his critique, and she tweeted that using terms like woke to insult voters under 45 is denigrating. Is there anything to that is not denigrating to her? But others saw something different with the use of the term woke by Carville and CNN. Adam Serwer, staff writer at The Atlantic, shared the video on Twitter Sunday night and implied the use of the term woke was actually something deeper, perhaps more diabolical. Part of the utility of this kind of use of woke is that it expresses sentiments the people using it would be uncomfortable articulating directly, he tweeted. Oh, you see what he's getting at there? See what he's implying? Well, if you don't, Joel Anderson of Slate put a much finer point on it. Quote, if you're not black and started using woke pejoratively sometime post 2018 or so or worse, don't know anything about the earlier iteration of the term, I think it's fair to consider it a racial slur, he tweeted, a racial slur. But he goes on, and it doesn't mean I'm going to do anything to you or that anyone else will, but it doesn't mean I won't either. Oh, really? Really, Joel? (laughs) We're quaking in our boots. What does that mean? He answered someone in the replies, sometimes violence or threatening it is the answer, I gotta say. Screw you, Joel. So if you're saying woke, you not only might be a racist, but you might need to be dealt with through violence or at the very least threats of violence because you can't say that. Oh, wait, this is America. 